news is back with sick 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 content we're gonna look a little bit into the current situation in gaza israel and the news that came out today that iran might be planning something pretty big we're gonna first look at how israel is doing in gaza before we check out what iran is planning Six months but if Ahmad wants to do the it october 7th hamas attacks and the beginning of israel and there remains no end in sight. With a time Tommy, Israel and Palestine, I can't say Israel. I lose a lot of sponsors, still in but operation. Israel. <laughs> no, it's a very deep thing, and it's very important that you stay on the logical side. What Israel is doing in a lot of parts is not cool, but it's deep shit, man. And more than a hundred. You know how Bibi plays Metal Lords? Well, not me, bro. Is Israel you know what else I'm not playing Ben's? Tarkov, so shut the f losing Thank you, Sobby. In this video, we're going to explore this in three parts. The damage being done to Israel's international standing, the domestic pressures on the Israeli government, and whether it's actually achieving its war aims. The real question I always want to ask in this scenario is how the f*** is Egypt not opening the borders, huh? We Muslims, we all stand before Muslim brothers, man. No one is taking... Palestinians said because economy start, matters more if you haven't already please consider <coughs> subscribing and ringing the bell to stay in the loop yeah when I play with them on Israel man that's going to be we bad bro new videos so let's start with the international angle the growing Palestinian death toll in Gaza now at more than 33,000 a devastating 33,000 what how many months was that damn that's a Jesus, that's a lot of fucking kills, man. Stating a humanitarian crisis, warnings of famine, Six and months? a restriction of aid flow have all contributed to Israel's increasing international isolation. However, in recent weeks, the single biggest event to have prompted a reassessment of support for Israel among many of its allies was the killing of seven World Central Kitchen aid workers by three successive Israelis. How did you fucking bump that? How did you even do that? Did they steal the fucking wheels? Yeah, that was kind of fucked up. They killed eight, eight workers. And I, I I don't know how the military works, but man, as a fucking Israeli soldier, don't you fucking check first? Wait, Moshe, Moshe, what are you doing? <coughs> Moshe, stop. I'm just going to join you. What the fuck, man? Of Why the fuck are you shooting them? World Central Kitchen aid workers by three successive Israeli... How does that happen? I really wonder. I genuinely wonder. How does this happen? That you... Are they f driving at you so you feel threatened? Like at a checkpoint? Described by Israel as a serious mistake. Ah, that sucks. I mean, every death sucks. Yeah, but Tommy, what about the children? Yeah, it all sucks. Man, imagine that's your son, bro. He just wants to fucking help, and now he's British gone. British nationals, a Polish national, GG, man. an Australian national, and... Dude, I'm gonna be an asshole and say this. When my son is like, I wanna you humanitarian in Gaza, I'm like, shut the fuck up. You ain't going fucking nowhere, bro. But daddy, I want to save the world. Bam! You ain't going nowhere, man. You're staying right here, you fuck. You ain't going American nowhere, boy. As such, the killing fuck yeah, man. That's my opinion. And I say it like that. From the Respect to these people, man. But my son field, ain't going there, no. Nope. With Israel's explanation doing litter to assuage this anger. In fact, the UK government is now coming under increased pressure to suspend armed sales and military cooperation. Fuck, is he wearing a black shirt? I've never seen that. A politician wearing just a black shirt? Israel the fuck? and Foreign Secretary David Cameron has warned that British backing for Israel is not unconditional. Meanwhile, there are also growing calls from within the US Democratic Party for President Biden to condition his military assistance for Israel based on its actions, prompting Biden to warn Netanyahu that US policy will be determined on Israel's implementation of specific concrete and measurable steps to address civilian harm humanitarian suffering and the safety of aid workers decision to abstain on rather than veto a un security council resolution demanding a ceasefire you, Dan Val. Dan Val. represent notable shifts in american foreign policy in fact a memo from the u.s state department following a meeting with their israeli counterparts states that the israelis seemed oblivious to the fact that they're facing major possibly generational damage to their reputation not just in the region but elsewhere in the world it adds we are concerned that the israelis are missing the forest for the trees and are making a strategic error in writing off their reputational damage even former president donald trump has altered his rhetoric on israel warning that israel is losing a lot of its support even trump man action i walked in i said wow they're killing all the civilians i was like wow that's not good <laughs> i'm getting better i just have to be not sick anymore Adding that israel has got to be better with <laughs> oh, <fuck>. because right <laughs> now they're really being hurt very badly 
But <sighs> the pressure on the Israeli government isn't just coming from abroad. <laughs> Benjamin Netanyahu is also under significant domestic pressure from all sides. Following the 2022 election, Netanyahu formed Israel's furthest right government ever. And even given his narrow majority, keeping those far right elements on side has always been crucial to his government survival. But now, in the face of international pressure to halt... Dear guy, look at that shit, man. Just fucking gone. Just adios, bro. The military offensive in Gaza Chizikovsky. and not invade Rafa. The more extreme factions in his government are piling on pressure to do the opposite. In fact, just this week, National Security Minister Itamar Ben-Gavir said that if Netanyahu decides to end a war without an extensive attack on Rafa in order to defeat Hamas, he will not have a mandate to continue serving as Prime Minister. At the same time, far-right finance minister Bezalel Smotrich voiced his own but something is with this dude. that the exclusive and smaller wartime cabinet was making... I remember we saw that video of when John Oliver, where he looked at the cabinet of Netanyahu and he showed out who these people really are. That guy has some really fucked up opinions, but I forgot what it was. But he's very hardcore, man. Without the approval of the full cabinet, like, he's like, kill them all, bro. he said was harming the war's momentum and our security interests. On the flip side, the more centrist elements of the wartime government are also ratcheting up the pressure. Benny Gantz, who joined Netanyahu's 2024, where the Nazis are mostly Russians and Jews. <laughs> Bro, I always say this, we live in a TV show, man. Life is Cabinet a TV show. After October 7th, but remains his single biggest political rival, broke ranks and openly called for early elections in the country saying that the vote should be held in September. Why? I never now, understand early calls for elections. I don't get that. If your constitution says, if you win an election, you have four years, then you have four years. I think there has to be very, very, very strong situations that are approved by a court in the constitution to have early elections. I don't understand this. Like in Germany, the AFD. Oh, we're polling good right now. We should have early elections. That's not how it works, man. This there is completely about this. at odds with what Netanyahu has said, with him repeatedly rejecting calls for early elections saying that it would undermine the war effort and Israeli unity. But Gantz has basically flipped the script by saying that elections are necessary to preserve unity and renew the trust between Israeli citizens and My country government. had 10 presidents now, in one day, you're uh, Italian? Now, approval ratings have collapsed after the October 7th attacks, and that Gantz and his party now have the most to gain from an election, with Netanyahu's right-wing coalition expected to lose its majority to the anti-Netanyahu bloc. Meanwhile, on the street, I wonder what that will do to Israel. Government a whole new government renewed mass protests, calling for a deal to secure the release of the remaining 130 or so. Hostages <coughs> These hostages are probably really fucked, man. Gaza, as well as demanding that Netanyahu resigns and there are early elections. There's also a separate political crisis going on related to the possible drafting of ultra-orthodox Haredi Jews into the military. Something that has what about the corruption scandals. That's what I said. If you want to have early elections, it probably in the Israeli, German, French, in the local, there's certain definitions. And bring down I don't know if there's a ground in Israel. I have no idea. But anyway, just, despite we have to look at this that, growing obviously. international pressure and the political instability the war is causing, is it I always felt I'm a very, um, and maybe that's wrong with me. I'm very, how to say in English? Like in Germany, I call myself a constitutionalist. I like the German constitution a lot. I think we should listen to it and apply it all the time. A very good constitution, man. Set out two main objectives following it just never is applied well. ...attacks by Hamas that killed nearly 1,200 people in Israel. These aims were to eradicate Hamas and rescue the hostages. So let's start with defeating Hamas. Now, this is tricky to assess because, yes, the Israeli military has taken control of most of Gaza and it claims to have killed 13,000 or so Hamas fighters, including... <laughs> I think they had a typo. Uh, they meant children. Figures. But as the international crisis group's Israel-Palestine senior analyst says, the IDF hasn't been able to... Oh, we have a promo band. Good job, man. All the best to you. i see you soon. Probably not. ...get the top brass of the Hamas leadership. <laughs> also, from the beginning of the war, critics pointed out that the aim of eradicating Hamas may be something of an impossible goal for Israel to set itself. That's because destroying an entity is one thing, but destroying an ideology and a movement is... That's what I think is so sad about this world, man. You can invade Gaza all you want. You can even kill Vladimir Putin, man. The indoctrination of people will last for generations, man. Getting this out of people's heads is gonna be fucking impossible. It's another much more it's difficult It's a hundred years of hate. Especially when you consider that Hamas's position 
The violent armed resistance. The fucking Toyota. <laughs> Look at this. Yes, what Israel the fuck? Is necessary. Today I saw a real life Nazi. Yeah, the Nazis in Germany. Today I was walking home and there was a man, an old bald man like you, Tommy, haha, in front of the house and he was cleaning his car. And he opened his car door and he had he had a sticker inside his car door with a German eagle and something like Das Deutsche Reich lebt or some shit. And I was like, okay. Could well they are everywhere, man. As a result They're everywhere. Of Israel's response to October 7th. So what about the goal of freeing the hostages? Well, of the 253 hostages that were taken from Israel, there are 129 yet to be returned that from That sucks, Gaza, man. At least 34 of whom are thought to be dead. 109 hostages did get their freedom through prisoner exchanges or did other Did you shit deals, your pants? While just three have been rescued directly by Israeli military operations. And 12 bodies have been recovered, including three that were mistakenly killed by the Israeli <sighs> army. So ultimately, political deals How can you get fucked by life this hard, bro? With Hamas have proven Shit, to be more sucks. effective at rescuing hostages than military Good news, we alone, have his body. Which effectively puts this hostage goal at odds with the first Jesus, goal man, it's an old fucking lady. Jesus. Hamas. There are tentative Fuck, signs, man. though, that things are starting to go in a different direction, at least for now. A new round of truce talks are underway in Cairo, and Israel has withdrawn most of its brigades from the Gaza Strip, oh. signaling a lull in fighting that's allowed I mean, some... there. They did what they had to do. Holy shit, what the fuck? Bruh, looks like Berlin. Wow, have fun rebuilding, Dad. Gazans to return shit, to their man. homes, or what's left of them, in the southern city of Khan Yunus. Jesus. But with Netanyahu's still vowing to press ahead with an invasion of Rafa, this lull may not last. <coughs> What's up, Isla? Huh? Now, watching our videos, it's understandable if, at times, you feel like the world isn't terribly safe. And unfortunately, this can be the case of That's why we are too. sponsored by... Okay, what is this shit? Uh-oh, this is one hour ago, guys. The clock is ticking. Iran could strike Israel in the next 48 hours. Since last night, the threat level has gone up. No fucking Iran way. Has... If Iran does a full-scale attack on Israel in the next 48 hours, I give the 100 subs, okay? That's not fucking happening. That's not targets. fucking happening. It is preparing for a direct... Ayla had to steal copper wires overnight. Attack hey, Israel. man. Iran's supreme leader has been presented with strike options. If he chooses to attack Israel directly, parts of North and South Israel could be potential targets. It's a small country as it is. Now, hectic I mean, the attack is probably just a bunch of rockets, right? Avoid what is increasingly becoming I said full-scale attack, chat. A wider war in West Asia. Oh, look, they're playing uh, Borderlands. Iran lands. back from the brink. The U.S. Secretary of State has been making calls, asking the likes of China, Turkey, and Saudi Arabia to stop Iran. But will they what weird times we live in, huh? And remember... This escalation started with Israel. They're the ones who carried out an airstrike in Syria. They bombed an Iranian consulate in Damascus. Top military officials, top Iranian military officials died in that strike. Iran says Israel's strike was a direct attack on them. So now they want to pay back in kind. How would they do it? Most likely using medium range missiles. That's one of the probable scenarios. They're already issuing threats online. Videos have appeared showing simulated attacks on Israel. They feature high-value targets like Israel's Was it a what on a forum? And a nuclear facility in Dimona. Israel is said to have a nuclear reactor there in Dimona. So the plans are very much in place. Iranian officials are now waiting for a go-ahead from Ayatollah Ali Khamenei, the supreme leader of the country. Reports say he wants to think this through, carefully consider all available options. I think you and me could go into hibernation right now, go ahead 100 years into the future, and if global warming or whatever the fuck didn't kill us yet, it would be exactly the same. Political risks of an attack and the potential it will always backlash, be like that. backlash from Israel. About and we're so lucky, man, we Westerners, that we doubts. have pretty safe he lives, man. If Israel is attacked, he will respond. We established a simple principle. Whoever hurts us, we hurt him. We are preparing to meet the security needs of the state of Israel, both in defense and in attack. Yesterday, Israel conducted an operation in Lebanon. Israeli jets were dispatched. They struck at least five targets. Israel says they took out Hezbollah infrastructure. I remember everybody was acting like they're ultra the dangerous. War, Israel has been fighting the Hezbollah on its northern border. What the this fuck? They're shooting a movie here. So far, a Mad Max, Mad Max, Lebanon Road. People in Lebanon and 18 people Hezbollah actually is bombing back. Oh. The security situation is rapidly deteriorating. America and its Western allies do not have much time. They have a narrow window to commit. Chat. Every time I watch this news, do, does Tommy K have to go to World War Three, man? What do you feel, guys? 
Are we gonna have to go to war, man? What is all this rocket shit, man? Jesus. They're gonna get you first, motherfuckers. Are American personnel and assets at risk, Mr. President? Oh, God, dude. Let him sleep. What is he doing? <laughs> dude, the world is a break of war. This guy is like, what? What's happening? Oh, dick. Oh, hey, voila. Four more years. I told you, I can't, uh, dude. How can he be four more years? How can you? They must literally be planning that he's dying and Kamala Harris takes over. What the fuck? ...in Sudan and stop a major attack which could consume the entire region. But then again, America's options are also limited. It cannot communicate with... Are they though? I, I don't know, man. Is America limited? I always feel like... Look... I always want to follow reason logic and oftentimes in history which has we seen in free the last three years a nation is very strong russia but then in reality they're not as strong as you think they couldn't even take down ukraine and for in three years right and I always wonder and we don't know the answer is the us really as strong as we all think because i think and i might just be a nafo but western propaganda streamer i think they are as strong as we think i think having a hundred eight hundred billion per year on defense is pretty good I feel like they're very ready. Tehran directly. American law bans U.S. diplomats Hello. from engaging with America. Iran. So they fuck have yeah. to go through intermediaries. Thank you, good boy. Thank like you. the Europeans. America, In this fuck case, yeah. Germany has delivered messages to Tehran. In these times... What does Germany... Oh, she lost a lot of weight. What happened there? That's kind of sexist for me. Sorry. Um, as a German, I feel like Germany has no power. No weight. We have no weight. What is Germany going to do? What the fuck are we going to do? Okay, you gotta get some weight first, man. You gotta rebuild the Wehrmacht, Junge, and then we can be... Hello, meine Freunde, yeah? Iran, if you do shit, we're gonna send in the schnelle Heinz. Yeah, he's coming very quickly. But right now, man, we're fucking... What the fuck? In it's, like it's, a it's nothing. With it's fucking unforeseeable nothing. Consequences. All the players in the region are called upon to act responsibly and exercise restraint. <coughs> with this in mind, I also spoke to my Iranian counterpart today. West Asian powers are also calling Tehran. In the last 48 hours, Saudi Arabia, Iran, the UAE and Qatar have all dialed Tehran. They've spoken to Iran's foreign minister. It is not clear what they discuss or how foreign minister of Iran ain't sleeping tonight. have been. So far, there's been no change in Iran's posture. And the US is preparing for the worst case scenario. That is an Iranian strike. Washington has sent a message to all American officials in Israel and their families. They've been asked to stay in Tel Aviv, Greater Jerusalem, or Beersheba areas. European countries have issued travel advisories for Iran. Yesterday, Lufthansa Why is Iran warning them though? It often seems Kenya. that all the stuff is, uh, in Germany we say Zebel it's, uh, it's just, they have a sword and they go lo, 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 lo. Tomorrow, the situation remains precarious. The region, if you want to do something, anyway, you will fucking do it, you know? Keg, and the Gaza war has lit the fuse. So tensions between regional rivals are exploding. Six months Jesus, ago, man. when Israeli troops this world lately, fuck. It put the entire region on the edge. Every time I watch this shit, I feel like I should work out more to be ready for World War Three. A swift operation could have <laughs> no willingness to end this war. There have been a series of diplomatic initiatives, but they've all failed to deliver a breakthrough. So even if Iran is persuaded to stand down this time, the risk of a wider war in West Asia the sound of Iranian missiles. missiles. And it will remain until the war in Gaza ends. Needless to say, an escalation would hurt the whole world. So cooler heads must prevail. Okay, well, this is like an Indian news station. Uh, will Iran attack Israel in the next 48 hours? Tommy Kenyu says, no, it will not. Today's oh, man, speculation bro. rises about it's an Iranian suck. attack on Israel. <laughs> Aren't you like 40? You won't get drafted. I think, like in Ukraine, they draft the older ones first, right? Because young people are so important. Kuhn is sentenced to death in Vietnam, and Viktor Orban and Donald Tusk become unlikely allies. From TLDR Tell News... Me Gram -Gram. Uh, this is the new uh, overall daily channel. Um, we shall start every single stream reacting to the daily news. I shall do that every single daily stream. Daily briefing for Friday the 12th of April. What do you think world tensions at? I believe world tension is lower than you think. I think the world tension is not at like 60% or something. I think world tension is 24%. I think what's scary about 2024 is that the world tension depends on really just a few men. There's like six men in the world that decide if the world tension goes plus 50 men. It's not like a big group effort. It's just, you know. The Iranian consulate in Damascus. <coughs> US intelligence has reported that Israel is preparing for a direct attack in the next 24 to 48 hours. 
either in the north or south of Israel. Earlier on Wednesday, Iran's Supreme Leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei said the attack in Damascus was equivalent to an attack on Iran itself. 13 people I kind of get that though. Bombing that consulate is kind of a pretty big attack on Iran. I kind of get that. ...inside the consulate, including senior Iranian military leaders. Khamenei proceeded to explicitly warn the international community that Iran will react forcefully, must and <laughs> shall be punished. Israel's Minister of Foreign Affairs responded on social media by saying if Tehran does attack, Israel would hit back. One sec, we're getting some links. On November... How Israel was created, oh God. He the Israel will, Defense Forces have cancelled leave for soldiers serving with combat units and called up reservists to bolster air defense units. A possible Iranian It's very, very important for young people to understand city. that the news they see every day, which are so negative, so negative, it's, it's not real life. I think what the media is doing is very dangerous. The media is only going for profit. They know that evil news, that hate news makes a lot of clicks and they spread this massive fear among everybody, the West, everywhere. Anyway, little Tommy Rand. would be a first and intensify <coughs> hostilities in a major way. Israeli embassies have also been considered Just wait till the water wars, I'm not invested anymore. Don't start any water wars until I'm back in with my investments. ...for potential attacks, with several missions around the world shuttered. The scale of Iran's impending attack is uncertain, however, as are the possible... It's gotta be a fucking rocket into a consulate. That's what I'm predicting. Consequences. Tommy, can you use predicting US it right now? US analysts have suggested that Iran's retaliation will only be strong enough to send a message to Israel, and that Tehran is not looking to start a regional war, or to overplay their hand. Some analysts suggest that Iran doesn't even have the military capability for a significant confrontation. But a possible alternative would be an attack via an Iranian proxy, Hezbollah, which has traded fire with Israel from Lebanon almost daily since the 8th of October. However, officials from Biden's administration aren't certain that Iran's attack will be mild enough to avoid escalation, or striking Israel in a way Saboteur, that won't that's prompt not the, time, the US man. to respond militarily. President Biden did affirm the US's ironclad supports for Israel against a possible Iranian attack on Wednesday. Yeah. And it's, it's like a hopeful roleplay game, man. If, if the US protects you, you ain't doing shit, bro. You look for little proxy attacks. Oh, a rocket here, a rocket there. Ha ha, I'm so strong. But you know you can't go too far, man. That fucking aircraft carrier is going to shit you into the ground, man. Despite his recent critique of Netanyahu's strategy in Gaza, that any attack on Israel... China very quiet lately, though, huh? China very US quiet, response. guys. That's the real scary the thing. The White House has tried to reach out to Iran, as the two don't have diplomatic relations, to persuade them to not attack Israel. The US has reached out to China and European allies, urging them to send a clear message to Iran that escalation is not in Iran's interests. According to US officials, they've seen no evidence that Beijing has done anything to apply pressure. Whether the US's See, effort very quiet, to ease tension will work is something that we'll see in the coming days. Over in Vietnam, a major property tycoon has been sentenced to death after embezzling more than $12 billion in the country's largest ever financial fraud case, Trong Mai Lang, who comes from one of Vietnam's richest families and is the chair of property developer Van Thin Fat Group and was found guilty of still a thing embezzlement nowadays? and abuse of power after embezzling America funds from Vietnam's never... Saigon Joint Stock Commercial Bank. She did so by illegally controlling the bank through proxies, using ghost companies to take out loans and bribing government officials. A further 85 people, including Lan's husband, Eric Chu, a businessman from Hong Kong, have also been charged in the case. Lan's representatives have said that she'll appeal the verdict. Now, the crimes have made things even worse Damn, for Vietnam's fucking ruling death penalty, man. Party, GG, that sucks. Which has already been <coughs> beset by various other scandals and resignations in recent months. Vietnam's president, Va Van Tong, resigned in March after only a year in office because of unspecified violations and shortcomings while Tuang's predecessor also resigned in January 2023. It was only a few days ago that we covered a story about the EU's new... So many news! Holy shit! Tommy Kinu's just stealing everything. I sent you feed pictures if you play squad. Great subscribe. Plan. In essence, the EU has tightened the rules and will speed up the... Germany defending Israel is violating international law. What are you talking about? What? ...the asylum process and make it easier to... You can appeal verdict in China. That was Vietnam, you fuckface. ...to send irregular migrants back to their home countries, while also requiring the <coughs> member states to... Sh yeah, Europe, especially Germany, they're getting a little bit more anti-migrant now because they know they need to win elections. Thank you, Kranke Gorke, thank you. ...share the responsibility for migrants. This latter point is referred to as the relocation mechanism. This, though, appears to have angered politicians in the EU on different sides of the political spectrum. On one side, you have the Polish Prime Minister Donald Tusk, 
Who rejects His the name idea? is Donald Tusk, Alter. Donald Trump, Donald Tusk. You can't make this shit up. Yeah, if the can't relocation make mechanism. And has stated that he would find ways so that even if this pact enters into force in more or less the shape in which it was voted on in Parliament today, that he'll protect Poland from the mechanism. You can't really talk like that. I feel like the EU is a unit that holds together. And when you join the EU, like Poland did, you, there's certain duties and laws that apply. And if you fucking do shit like that, it just destabilizes the entire institution. At the other end of the spectrum is Hungarian Prime Minister Viktor Orban, the fuck? who said that the pact was another nail in the coffin of the European Union, and that borders are no more. He added that Hungary will never give in to the mass migration frenzy. As things stand, the legislation is awaiting approval from EU member countries. To the world of video games now, where yesterday the 20th BAFTA Game Awards took place. I didn't even know about that, man. I'm a pure gamer all day every night but i don't know what the fuck that shit is bro sounds like some normie stuff we're gonna see a bunch of girls leading the way in terms of awards was the much oh, no. anticipated Baldur's gate a fantasy role-playing game set Wasn't in the like... world of dungeons and dragons in total it won five awards with its how old is the video this just happened yesterday that happened three hours ago oh shit most notable they still win prizes for Baldur's gate award. damn alongside this <laughs> all... <coughs> basically poland will have to pay for managing people entering in greece that's what they don't want it. Yeah, but Poland loves EU, EU funding. When the EU gives them funding and gives them free rights of movement of workers that work in Germany and bring the money home to Poland, they like that shit. Also, if you want to be part of the EU and get its advantages, you also have to handle its disadvantages. That's what happens when you want to work together in a big community involving 500 million people. Won awards for music and narrative. Actor Andrew Wincott won an award for his acting in the game, and the game also received. What character is that? And Who did he play in the game? Raphael. Oh, I never got that far. I never played the game. He was the, the, the devil guy. Andrew Wincott won an award for his acting in the game. And the game also received the EE Polish from Sierra Way. I'm, I'm always the guy. Put the cat in the cold water. Kick Poland out of the EU for one year. See what happens. See what happens when the funding is gone and there's no free movement of all your fucking workers. See what happens. You're going to be quiet in a fucking second, Choice bro. Award. Just behind Baldur's Gate is both Super Mario Bros. Wonder and Viewfinder, a puzzle game, what? which both won two BAFTAs each. It's also worth noting that, while Spider-Man 2 was nominated nine times, it came away with only a single award, a BAFTA for the best performer well, you're hitting a leading I just for Nigel Jeter in his role as Miles Morales. While these awards might not be as high profile as other award ceremonies, such Ugh. as the Oscars or the Golden Globes, the award show does still represent an industry that's been on the rise in the last few years. It's accounted for about 4.7 billion pounds in the UK about you, alone, weirdo. more than double that of the music industry. Oh, and now Chet is going ham, bro. Gaza, where UNRWA has reported about 70% of the population of Gaza are drinking salinized or contaminated. Tommy says, if you disagree with the rich Germans and French get kicked out. Uh, did you listen to any argument I just made? Poland is a massive benefactor from the EU. But the people don't see that because their politicians are, the piss party is like, hey, don't worry, man. Like, well, Jesus, what are you talking about? Water. One dude in chat talks about invading Germany. Like, what is this? G you are not serious people. But one man, Mohammed Let me talk to the adults. is providing at least 1,000 people a day with clean water. Using a solar Where are we now? Well Fuck, this guy's so fast. Where are we, we, we talking about Baldur's Gate? Due to a lack of electricity and destruction of infrastructure. So, Asalia coordinated a group of people with expertise to help build the well. He also set up a fundraiser to tackle the inflated costs of solar panels and materials needed, which he said were available, but cost about four times the pre-war amount. <laughs> Asalia is looking to expand this <laughs> grassroots project, but will well, we... Well, sorry, I'm fully lost. To do this so. too fast. What happened? Now, watching our videos, it's understandable if, at times, you feel like the world isn't And now comes the sponsoring. Set. Interesting times. Interesting times, man. Oh, oh, 15 minutes ago, Hezbollah fires missiles at Israel. This is uh, happening right now? Yo, wow. Yo, wow, aren't you used to this kid? Why? To these fucking kids, man, that's their life. They chill in the garden, they see fucking rockets fly through the sky. Jesus Christ. Oh. That's the Iron Dome, right? Damn, bro. The Iron Dome seems very important, bro. 
Everybody's texting him. Dude, it's like free New Year's Eve, dude. What the fuck? Dude, what an evening, bro. I'm fucking chilling here. And this is what okay. they're doing in the evening. Thank you, chili yo. baby back ribs. Yo, yo, wow, yo, yo, yo. What the fuck? Last video, and I, I'm a bit fucked, man. I gotta sleep, man. Tens of thousands of protests against the government of Viktor Orban. Yeah, they often do that, but does it lead to anything? But nice to see that the Hungarians are. There's some active people there. Darn Tutin partner, you're still here? If you fancy more of this beautiful face, check out these videos and subscribe.